a wrap. <laughs> you done? You are done. I'm done. Yeah. I know it. I'm gonna be done. What's up, y'all? My name's Bill, and this is how I do it. Today, I'm coming back at you with another episode of Tiny Engine Tuesday, where we're working on tiny engines on Tuesdays. Uh, I got a Craftsman Eager One. It's a Mulcher-style push mower. Um, guy I work with, co-worker of mine, was gifted this um, unit. Uh, it's not working, but it is cranking, but it's not working. And I spread a little... Uh, some of that hot sauce that Easter, that make in the um, burn slow. in the intake and uh it fired up it was kind of smoky but i don't know what that is right now but um i know that the carburetor is stopped up so i'm gonna take off the carburetor and clean it see if we can get some gas flowing through it i'll take um, these two nuts off take the nuts off the carburetor going to this intake right here and uh take these lines off one right there one at the bottom i don't think you can see it but uh right there and uh get it off for whatever reason um my socket is too thick wall to get against that 10 millimeter bolt right there so what i'm gonna have to do i'm just gonna take off the whole intake right here and uh, maybe i can get to it once i get it off all right we got the intake off oh man they got um gasket maker around that so i'm gonna have to redo that Wow, this thing, whoo, this thing may not be worth all the trouble, but we'll see. Anyway, it has a um, governor spring right here attached to that bolt. So, I'm going to try to get me a little wrench in there and uh, get that off. And then you can see the other line, the gas line coming down. Got a clump right there, so I'm going to take that off. And uh, that should be it. Man, you see this carburetor? Just came off that little small engine. I'm going to show y'all why y'all should never ever 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 under any circumstances use or leave ethanol infused gas inside your small engine what's behind door number one bam look at that look at that i don't know if my phone's doing this any justice but look at all that build up carbon excessive build up this gunk look at it Man, granted, now I think this may have been ex ex excessive because it stayed in there for a long, long time. But I've seen it gunk up the needle, the needle valve here. I've seen it gunk it up in, in over a winter time or a winter period, and it, 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 it sticks the needle. That's how bad this ethanol gas is on these engines, man. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. And if you do, drain it out before you, um like, you know you're going to have your last cut before the winter, you know, the grass stops growing. Man, empty that gas out and then crank the engine up and let it burn all the fuel out of the carburetor bowl. It's important. That way you won't have to see me. Okay, and we're back. And I got a little surprise for you guys. Instead of, I did end up cleaning up that other carburetor, but the bulb, the primer bulb was dry rotted. As you can see, this is a new carburetor I got off of Yamazon. Yeah, it wasn't much, so I don't have high expectations, but it should work. It should work. I'm, let me stop saying that. A lot of stuff I get from Yamazon be fine. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to install this. It came with just the carburetor, new uh, uh, primer bulb, and a gasket. So, gasket goes like this and goes on. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do it. All right, here's the old one right here. I got to take out this intake right here. I put this on a new carburetor. All right. Out with the old and with the new. So let's put this bad boy on. All right, got that on there. Got a filter. Didn't come with a new filter. 
I thought it might was gonna come with a new one, but I could have ordered one with the new one, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Cause it's a long shot that this thing even works. So, boom. Got that on there. Now we gotta get our cable. Throttle cable hooked back up. Throttle linkage, whatever you wanna call it. Boom, just like that. I see my deer over there. Can you see it? Yeah. We got them everywhere. And people always ask me, why don't you hunt hunt your deer? I'm like, these are my deer. They be chilling. Trust me, if things get the worst of the worst, I have to take one for the greater good, but I'm not hungry. So we all right. I let them do their thing. And we gotta line up our gasket. Honestly, man, I just wanna see if this thing runs or if we might have to do some major stuff to it. Cause I'm not even going to replace that um, that gasket sealer right now. It'll be just fine the way it is for right now. I'm not going to do all that. Then I have to come back and redo the whole thing again. So. Cause I have a feeling. I fired it up with um, some hot sauce, but it smoked real bad. So I think I may end up having to do a head gasket anyway. So I wasn't about to do all that. All right, y'all, guess what? My camera died or I forgot to press the record button on the rest of the install of this carburetor. Uh, I'm going to say operator error. <laughs> I forgot to press the button, but who knows? But anyway, I'm going to show y'all the rest of the steps that I did to put the carburetor back on. And it's pretty simple. Um, I just connected the vent tube here and the fuel line is on the other side. I connected it and one is coming from the gas tank here. And after that, I tightened up these intake bolts on the carburetor on both sides. And also you can see the um, governor spring that's attached to the um, bolts on the other side, closest to the engine over there. And I'll tighten those up. I think I put the throttle cable on in the video. And um, all I did after that was connect the intake back using these two bolts. And I put the muffler on using these two, using uh, these two bolts right here. All right, now that we got the carburetor changed, let's see what we have. I've been already primed it, so let's see what we got. Ah, okay. Okay. Woo, sound like it has a knock in it though. Ooh. Yeah, it sound like it got a knock in it. It's running kind of rough. Kind of smoking. I mean, it sound bad, but it actually. It actually doesn't mow too bad. It sounds rough though. It's not hitting nothing on the blade, I checked that. Wow. I mean, other than it knocking, it, it don't, it actually works really good.
<laughs> you done? You are done. I'm done. Yeah. I know it. I'm gonna be done. <laughs> 